a lot of us are just going through the motions, aren't we? Wake up in the morning, get breakfast, get to kids to school, get to work, and we're kind of not, we're kind of not in the moment fully. Yes. That's why one of my books is titled No Ordinary Moments. Uh, you know, there was a scene in the gymnasium once when I was doing a fancy dismount off the horizontal bar and I stuck my landing, which is a good thing. Anybody who's seen the Olympics? Oh, no, that's a great thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> and, and I went, yes, you know, and then workout was over, so I ripped off my sweatshirt, threw it in my bag, and we were walking down the hallway, and Socrates had, happened to be watching me, and he said, you know, that last movie you did was really sloppy. And I said, what are you talking about? It was the best dismount I did in weeks. And he said, oh, I'm not talking about the dismount. I'm talking about the way you took off your sweatshirt and put it in your bag. And he was pointing out once again that there are no ordinary moments. I was treating one moment as special and another as ordinary. He okay. said, um, Dan, the difference between us is you practice gymnastics. He said, I practice everything. And by practicing what we do, by our breathing, our movements, staying aware, uh, making life a kind of art, um, that can bring us into the moment, into a place of absorption or flow, as some people call it. It's more about just paying attention to this moment because it's all we have. We all know about living in the present moment, but what does that actually mean? It means that, well, Mark Twain once said, I've had many troubles in my life, most of which never happen. Mm -hmm. Because most of our troubles are anxieties about the future, regrets about the past, but all we've got is this moment. It's the only moment of reality. So the more we practice what we do to see if we can refine how we do the dishes or take out the trash or walk through a doorway, by doing that, it actually, it's not e exhausting at all. It gives us a presence in everything we do. What's so, exhausting is all the fear of the future and the exactly. woes about the past. Exactly. So if we're in the now, Just take care of the now. That's all we have to do. Now you have said once that you believe that you chose the way you're coming in and what's going to happen to you now. So whatever happens, you're just going with the flow. Yes. I mean, that's all we can do. Um, but we tend to resist. We all know that. You know, we've been waiting to go out to dinner all week, and we're looking forward to a special dessert at one restaurant. And they finally, we're ready, and we order it, we look forward to it, and they say, oh, we just ran out. That person at the table next to you is eating the last slice or whatever. And resistance comes up. But you had it in the menu. You should have it, you know, and all that. And instead, we can just, just turn on a dime and go, oh, well, that gives me a chance to try something new. I mean, it's an approach to life. We have no choice, really, because life is going to unfold as it does. We can make good efforts in life, but we can't control the outcomes. What you are controlling, though, is, for instance, you control your health. But how important do you feel staying in shape and being healthy is to stay on this path? Well, let me emphasize that, because uh, I'd like to think I control my, my health, but actually, I don't feel we have that much control in life. The only thing we can actually control, not our minds, our thoughts. We don't have a spam filter for what thoughts appear in our minds. There's so much magical thinking today that if we just visualize and intend, magically we'll manifest everything we desire. Well, in my own experience, effort over time has helped a lot. So what I do is rather than trying to control my thoughts, control my emotions, because emotions pass like the weather. I focus on what I do moment to moment. We can control our efforts. But the outcomes, whether we find success, love, that isn't under our control. And, but by making a good effort in life, by putting quality into our lives, we vastly increase the odds of getting what we like, including good health. So let go of control, make yeah. the effort, exactly. and embrace the outcome. That's all we can do, because that's how reality works.